Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We celebrate. G- G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Today is episode 227, and we're a little bit upset at one of our friends at the moment. You can, you all know who it is. Rob Weasel, Newell. Rob Newell. Rob Netta, Rob Newell. <sighs> Oh, we forgot, to, we forgot to put him in the, the Ned's ads. Yeah, actually, we, we we'll try and do it next week. Because I'll try when, and make we, note. when we do the ads, we're trying to be super professional. Yeah, but we will definitely sneak a Rob Newell in. We will. So no just doubt. keep listening out for that. It'll come one week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in regards to Rog, you and I are almost at the end of our tether with him. I'm at my last straw, bro. I send him quite a nice message today saying, hey, mate, can you please send through your weekly update? We're so trying we to be nice. And we'll read out this weekly update of just the most repetitive shit you'll ever hear. Monotonous, boring. He's going to the footy with two other men this weekend, which is ir- annoying. Yeah. Won't go anywhere It's irritating as Goes well. with two men to the footy, bro. In the middle, I bet he is. Yeah. Annoying me, bro. One hand on each of their thighs. I'm nearly over this. So this is Rog's normal week. You do Monday, I'll do Tuesday and so forth. Monday, uni and gym. Tuesday, gym and uni. Likes to switch it up. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, uni and gym. Thursday, gym and complete assignment at uni library. Friday, work. Okay. Saturday, footy. Yeah, I said weekend. He goes, I'm going to watch Frio Dogs with these two men, right? And then I said, if I see you there, I'm going to kick your head in. Yep, valid. Um, It is valid. And I also said, I don't like you at the moment. And he goes, why do you hate me so much? And I said, you don't give us the time of day or our listeners the time of day to give us a small insight into your life. And then he basically just laughed at it. Oh, yeah, you asked if we asked you to go to the footy with us, you wouldn't. He goes, of course I would. No, he wouldn't. So then you started getting mad because he was lying. Lying in my face, bro. I don't like lying, do you? I hate lying. It's one of my biggest hates. And then we basically said, every time we ask you to do something, you say no and have an excuse. It's a fact. He goes, that's not true. We schedule a date, check our calendars, and then I'll be there. Problem is, every time we try and schedule a date, his calendar is conveniently booked. When he does nothing. He does nothing. You saw his schedule. He uni, gym, time. gym and uni, uni, gym, gym and uni. Okay, how long would you take at the gym? Max, hour 30? Hour 30, max. But okay. He probably hangs around for two. How long are you doing at uni? Two, 10 minutes? 15? What's he doing? Like Two out of three hours. Okay. No, he's probably doing a six-hour shift, bro. So let's say six-hour shift, it was allow two hours, travel, whatever. That's eight hours no, of the day. A lot of hours for us. He's always a prick during uni. When, it, when it's uni break, Rog is fun. He's nice. Mm-hmm. He's, he's keen to do everything. When it's uni, it's just he's in a different mindset. Look... We've been very vocal on this podcast about our relationship We're too with good Josh. To that bloke, honestly, the three musketeers, the three best friends, the extraordinary trio that can take us to the next level. Yeah, all of these things have been discussed. However, when you get everything thrown back at your face, <sighs> it makes you want to hit someone. My heart, bro. And like it Dylan hurt. said, I'm going to the footy on Saturday as well. And if I see him, oh, you don't want to know what's no. going to happen. He better be hiding, bro. Better be hiding. Unbelievable. Won't be able to spot him in a crowd, though. Nah, nah, nah. No Small. way, bro. I can't wait for the photos. If you see him at the footy, oh, this is obviously going to come out I'd after l- that Imagine game. somehow you see Rob Newell on the footy camera, on Fox footy, like just in the oh. crowd or something behind the goal. Nibbling on a sausage roll or bro, something. it would be unbelievable. That would be late. Unbelievable. Hey, guys, if you see Rog at the footy, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's, it's coming out late. after. Damn. We can I'd tee love, up next time we know yeah. where he's at. Yeah. I'd love people to spell, oh, Rob Newell. Yeah. Or send in photos or videos of a rare Rob Newell sighting. Well, Jared calls him Rob Newell now at the gym, yeah, right? I, know, said, so so I love that. Thank you, Jared Moore. Yeah, thank you, We Jared. appreciate you. That's a real person right there. Definitely is. How's your week been, Dill? Yeah, it's been a good week, actually. Been, That's good. Um, Let's get off the negativity and yeah, start talking been, positive. Been a busy week. Um, me and Carly finally got our Euro plan set, which is good. Um, we had a... A spanner in the works, but it's exciting, right? Mm-hmm. So Rick gets back from Adelaide and he goes, hey, can I can I come with you guys when you go to Europe before you okay. go to England? Yep. And I was like, me and Carly spoke about it. I thought, you know what? That actually might be fun. Mm-hmm. Like, help split the costs. And we said, Rick, like, you sure you want to come? You're not joking? And he goes, no, I actually want to go, like, you know, be good to travel with you guys. And I did, feel like you know what you're doing. Did he know 
where you wanted to go, what plans? Well, we you all we said was we said, look, where our London plan is August sixteenth, yep. and that's already set. And he goes, okay, fair enough. And then we said, you know, our plan, we kind of want to go in, um, sort of July, yep, spend our time, and then meet up in London, and mm-hmm. then come home. And he was like, okay, no worries. So we have booked to stay in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. We're going to go July 16th to August 16th. That's going to be like our base. We split the Airbnb three ways. And then we're going to meet you guys in London on the 16th. So that's what we're going to do. So very exciting. you don't know where your other places are or rough idea? Not at the moment, but um, there's a few places. We asked him the main places he wants to see, Mm -hmm. where we want to see. So try and see a couple places in between. Does he like the base idea as well? He did, yeah, Yeah. because we told him that – Last time we went, we sort of had the first month planned mm-hmm. and that was really good. But then the second month we were doing sort of on the go, yeah. which was a bit draining and it's more expensive. Yeah. So we liked the base idea and he he agreed with it. So we're, we're excited, mm-hmm. happy to go. And when do you leave? The 16th. 16th. Yeah. To the 16th. So Beautiful. We'll see how we go. How's yours going? Yeah, good. We are- On the ball? Over halfway through booking everything. Lovely, lovely. Um, obviously, we're just doing it as we go. Where are the um, stops so far? I'll go through it. I won't give dates because some of you creeps will probably follow. We'll talk about some creepy stuff a bit later on in the episode. Oh, yes. Um, Very creepy. You're not wrong. Indeed. Grace is always editing as we speak. The, oh, nice. The oh, Europe th- thing. Can you have a joint notes thing? You can, yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Bro. It's very handy. How? Kids could talk to each other at school through this, actually, now that I think about Fuck it. I've never. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Very handy because like, we put all of the That's locations, sick. things we want to do, whatever, whatever. I need to add my things. Because yeah, I'm, I'm a big notes user in general. I love it, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a joint Fuck, one. So, now you can do that. Perfect. Um, so, we're going to London first. We're meeting you there yeah, mid-August. It's be lovely, bro, honestly. Then we go to Amsterdam. Yeah, perfect. Paris. Nice. Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, back into the south of France. Yeah, Nice. That's... I've, oh, Seen a lot on that. Yep. That would be a lovely place to visit, bro. Then we do Milan. Yep. Rome. Elite city. And then we've changed the end of the trip. Ready okay. for this curveball? We're not going to Greece this time. Yep. We're going to do it another time. We were this, Me and Carly, that was on our major like wanting to go. Yep. And we were thinking about it, but then we were like, maybe we can just go there its own thing. Mm-hmm. Now we're finishing in Turkey. Oh, that's interesting. We're going that's to... That's cheeky, bro. Cappadocia and okay. Istanbul. Nice. Fly home from in Istanbul. So yeah. it was a cheeky change. It was That's an interesting place. It was ending up to be a bit too expensive to do the whole Greece. Yeah, Greece. Yeah, island it's its own top. thing. Um, and then even the flight home from there was a lot more expensive than what it is doing it this way. Yeah. No, so Turkey's good. Like, uh, they have lots of cheap, like... I remember Daniel Corrigan mentioning games mm. and yep. cosmetics is cheap. Yep. Like... Um, cosmetic procedures and just mm-hmm. general. Uh, I've seen late like women in the UK go there and buy all their prescription and yeah. So you know, I might hit up Turkey one day get this nose fixed, bro. <laughs> I know because they do all inclusives. Yeah. So yeah. So no, that'll be cool. Um, in Cappadocia, that's where like all the hot air balloons are. Oh, like so they do it at sunset or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nice, sunrise bro. as well. I think Turkey, that's gangster. Um, and then Cappadocia, a lot of the places there are built into like the Red Rock Mountains and stuff. Yep, so, yep. like, the hotels are in inside of a hill. Nice. I'll have to nice. show you some photos Oh, and stuff. like, built into the rock. Yeah, like, literally yeah, built yeah. into the rock. That's like, you're looking stuff. up, wake up in the morning, and there's a red rock. A bit nice. scary, but it's pretty cool. So, changing it up a bit. So, what dates um, do you let cut, get back home? I'll come How home. you guys away for? You guys can catch me at the airport on the 19th of September. Nice, nice. Just before... Well, grand finals the week after? Week bef- yeah, I think so. Something like so that. So come back like prelim week yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. For when Freo make the grand final. Not. There you go. Um, but yeah, changing it up the little end bit. Yeah, that's fun though. We'll still catch fun Greece eventually places. though. Um, and yeah, Greece would be elite, I reckon, honestly. Turkey and Greece are actually quite close to each other. Yeah. And the top of Turkey is a bit similar to Greece with infrastructure and nice. stuff like that. So, I don't know. It won't be like we're missing out on everything. It's um, hard to see it all at once, yeah. bro. It's such a massive place. There's so much to see. And, like, you have to break it up. Like, oh, we'll go back again. Yeah, and you, the way you got to do it, like, sort of you got to travel in a nice, mm. you know, yeah. linear way, not miss anything. But So, yeah, that's what we've done. 
It's getting expensive. It does, bro. That's the thing about holidays. They always turn out more expensive than you think. And especially you and I, with the way we like to travel. Yep. It just gets like that. Yeah. Can't it help does. it, bro. Can't help it. Um, My week was pretty good. So you've had a happy week. So yeah, have I. Yeah. Been busy and busy's been good. Um, I went to an event on Wednesday night. It was yep. Chase and Status. Um, at RAC Arena, which was surprisingly a very good venue for something like okay. that. Okay, it was just like a massive rave. Yeah, I didn't know if how it was going to be. Yeah, because yeah. obviously you and I have watched sport there. Yes, um, I've watched the Wildcats a couple of times. I've seen it. I saw one concert there. Yep, the weekend. No, I saw Flume there too. We watched the, the Hopman Cup there together. The that tennis. Was good. That was a good event. Um, but so yeah, I didn't know how it was going to translate, but it was good. Yep. Good fun. Wasn't like a monster night, like a big festival. I guess on a Wednesday, isn't it? Even yeah. though it was public holiday the next day. I'll like tell you what, though, because um, the main act have been around for a long, long time, like they've been making music for 20 years, mm. the crowd varied from 18 to 40. You like that? It was interesting. Yeah. There was a lot of older people. Were you surprised when you walk in and see a 40-year-old? Not really, because I know their background, yeah. so I know that they're a bit older, and some of their biggest songs are from 15 years yeah. ago. But then some of the outfits were crazy. like Of these millennial type. Yeah, fucking. like I'm seeing drop tees. Oh. Yeah. I'm seeing ripped skinny jeans. Wow. I'm seeing. Um, we having a little giggle? Stringlet. Grace would have liked that, eh? Like laughing? Yeah, a little bit. It was, yeah. It was crazy. Stringlets is insane. Yeah. Yeah. There was some incredible retro sunglasses. Like Drop tees is Unbelievable, bro. Like, imagine one of the boys walked into, like, say, when we went to Varsity yeah. in a drop tee. Oh, it would have been. You would mayhem. get, like, you'd have to leave. I reckon you'd have to leave the amount of Most bullying. Most likely you'd to get. wear a drop tee in our Lear. group, Brandon Lee. Yeah. 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 No 100%. doubt, bro. And the brand, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Culture Kings. And then on the back, it goes down, like, vertically with letters, and it's like K S. Uh, why? I don't know. Oh, I know exactly the yeah. one you're talking yeah. about. It's like, yeah. I don't know the actual. KSCY yes. yeah, or something whatever. Something like that. Yeah, there was a lot of that floating around. I gotta find this brand, bro. There was a lot of um, interesting characters. But as a whole, I, there was a fair bit of abuse thrown towards me at various points of the Kiss night. Kiss Chasey, bro. Oh, my. Woo! So KSCY. Yep. Oh, my Lord. Kiss Chasey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what abuse? Yeah, so... Um, what happened, bro? So we get there before Lude, because Lude was there as well, right? I'm waiting. Oh, a friend. Yeah. I'm waiting just outside the toilet um, for some of the other people I was with. And, oh, so who's punching guy? We get that a lot, yeah. right? I'm like, yeah, hey, how are you? It's all whatever, we're whatever. these days. Everyone just says, oh, do a who's punching right now. Me and my missus, come on. It, bro. Yeah, it's awful being asked in real life. Um, cause I said, Oh, I've got, I don't have the consent form. Then they're like, well, you're just a fucking bitch then. Like you just, you can't win. It's a lose, lose. Yeah. Um, anyway, so there was a few good interactions, a mm-hmm. few people going, what the hell? I didn't realize you were from Perth. Like, why are you here? I was a lot get, of, yeah, I got that at work this week. I didn't realize you were from Perth. Yeah. You're from Melbourne. Yeah. You know what I get? Um, and I'm sure you do too. And I don't like it. It's, they go, Oh, what are you doing here? Or why are you here? Yeah. Well, I live here, yep. and this is a show that I would enjoy. They expect that, like, you just exist on the on their little screen. Yeah, and that's all. We're real people, mate. Yeah. It's like people will catch me, like, down at Coles or something, and I'm just like, I'm just doing my food yep. shop. Like, yep. I'm a normal person. It's crazy. Anyway, the night went on, the show ended, and I'm walking to the toilet. Good show? I'm, yeah, it was pretty good. Okay. Um, it was decent. We're walking against the flow of traffic because – they sectioned off the toilets that um, were easily accessible. So as you're walking out, there's toilets. It should have been left open for the public, but they only left these toilets open that are against the flow of all the people. So it's congested. Bro, hundreds of people, and we're just trying to walk through them. You're getting a lot of like, why the fuck are you walking that way? And I said, oh, it's the only toilet open. So, And then, oh, your podcast shit as. That was one. Keep walking. Oi, you're shit and your your miss is way hotter than you. And I'm like, Nice. Yeah, cool. Just piling on now. Yeah. And then Because everyone's had a few to drink yeah. now. And then there's one also earlier in the night and it was um Oh, who's punching you or your missus? And I was like, oh, I've said it ten times. I am. Like yep. it's clear, but I am. Um you clearly don't watch the fucking show, do you? Yep. Was he a big ug too? Yeah, lots of uggs. Of course they are, lots bro. Big fucking buff heads. 
Um, but that was probably like normally it's ninety nine percent good, one percent bad. I found that in Melbourne it was a yeah. l- bit more positive too overall. Yeah. You know, in Perth there's still a little bit of um like eh, about it. That was like an eighty percent good, twenty percent bad. That's pretty high, yeah, back. That, that like, yeah. So I didn't feel welcome. Yeah, and I was thinking this isn't good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was good. Uh, all in all, and then left and yeah, yesterday Anzac Day. Lovely day, great game of footy. Good day of remembrance. Yeah, no, nah, it is a good day. Anzac Day is a great day of the year. Yeah, I like the energy in the air, bro. As soon as I woke up, you can feel it. A lot of uh, like patriotic energy too. Yeah, it's good. Regarding bro. Nice the people day. who fought for us. Um, and yeah, we're on a double date tonight, Dill. It's gonna be fun, Vin Papuli, right? Yep. In yep. Freya, we haven't been there before. Me and Carly, you and Grace have been there a few times. Yeah. Um, it's it's probably, been on our list, bro. It's probably too, fourth so. time for me, I reckon. Nice. I'm a frequent there, and you're going to pull a review out, aren't you? Yeah, I'll give him a review, bro. We'll see I'll how we go. Yeah, I'm pretty um, keen on the Google reviews of places. I do enjoy it. Now, I, I've been a bit st- like the last month. I probably haven't, but when we were um, in Melbourne, and then obviously, like me and Carly went to Sydney after. I was big on it. You know, that was my prime, bro. Yeah. Now, Food Network, bro, sign me up. Someone reached out to us, a girl named Keisha. Lovely, lovely. Hey, guys, I was randomly looking up Gilson's reviews on Google. Now, this is a place in South Yarra, in yeah, Melbourne. I think I gave them a good review, I'm pretty yeah. certain. Because um, we went there together when yeah, we were over there. Yeah, it was a good there. night. Basically, she's planning to go out um, for brunch yeah. later in the week. Probably at, sold the joint to her. You're welcome, Gilson. Gilson's, right. I stumbled across Dylan's review and I had to click on his account and have a read of his other reviews. Thank you. I found this on here and it made me laugh so hard. Now, I'm going to read the review word for word and then you can tell me the experience again. Yeah. All right. One out of five. And this is for Baskin Robbins, Canning Vale. Yes, yes. They're going to hate this. Hey, bro. I'm the voice. This was one year ago. The cream looked foamy and didn't taste like cream. Did not, bro. It was an awkward, yucky taste. The girl said it was frozen. There was also a girl in the staff room making weird, oh, yeah, noises. Yep, about 10 times, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh. The ice cream melted very fast and my vertical sundae became a pool of nothing. I threw it in the fucking bin, bro. Terrible is what he ends with. So that's Baskin Robbins counting bar, one out of five, and... Keisha found it so funny. Yeah, I'm a local guide level four now. Okay. Um, Can you have a look at some of the bad reviews? Yeah, I've what? only given one bad review. Them. Okay. What is one of the best ones you've given? One of the best have ones. Have you given any Nando's Canning Vale one or no? Nah. Do you want me to? Yeah. Where did we go? Gilson. Gilson, I gave four out of five. Yep. Um, I like that. Oh, Edge Geelong, I gave a bad one. You know Was where- that a two? Yeah, a two. Because uh, remember I got yeah, your guys' opinions on it? That was funny. I waited 45 minutes for a medium steak that came out rare. Two potatoes as the side and the salad. Not great value. The staff didn't bring cutlery with the meal, so we had to ask for it. Overall, very underwhelming. Yeah, it was really bad, that was to shit. be honest. That was yeah. a group effort. I asked you all what you would like to yeah. give the place. So, um, nah, it's a, it's a fun little thing that I like doing. I want to get to the point where I can like make or break a restaurant, bro. I'd love that. I'd love um, them to be fearful. To be honest, I think Baskin Robbins are shaking in their boots right now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> A bit off. I mean, they, they got up the game, bro. They do. The sta- Like I get, you know, most of the time the staff at these ice cream places are teenagers. Fair enough. I don't have a problem with that. But come on. Yeah. Put a bit of, put a bit of pride in your work. Put a bit of pride in that ice cream. Would you put pride in your ice cream if, let's say, your employer or your boss was just a piece of shit though? No, nah, bro. I don't give a fuck about these casual jobs. Yeah. So I can see why they don't. But yeah. that's on you as management, right? It, it is. And it's also... On your you place as a customer one. to give them legit feedback. Yeah. Because how are they going to improve? Bro. Don't be making, oh, yeah, noises ruining the atmosphere. Yeah. I wonder if she's still there or if she got fired. Giving me weird cream, bro. Because the managers, cream. the managers probably listened to that or seen the review and gone, you know what? Who did that? Check the cameras. My favorite one was like, I remember it was about, it must have been three or four years ago. And I saw a girl, it was at Canning Vale, the Vale car park. Remember I saw a girl reverse into a car? Yeah. And I called her. I described her as like slightly chubby and then her friend sent in a video of her listening to that and she was like screaming that she's not chubby. Yeah. She was chubby. So yeah. it was very accurate, <laughs> but that was really funny. <sighs> All right. A little interval here. Home phone ringing. 
Just on our Euro trip, we also need to send through our schedule to our team at Nova. Yes, we'll do that after. Yeah, get after. that going on. And yeah, hopefully Nova can get us some um, some good deals, bro. The OC deal. For, yeah. So what are you up to? Um, we're nearly finished season three. Okay. Are you guys still on it? We're season three, episode four. I think we're like twenty one or something. Yeah. Um, now there's just a there's a scene where they're talking about college, right? Mm -hmm. And I just thought to myself, in America, like. In a graduating class, how many go to college? Yeah. It, it seems like it's the be-all and end-all of schooling, right? Like I you have to go. It, it seems almost like um, at our school, at our high school, yeah. when you have to do ATAR and then it's, are you going to get into uni or not? 100%. It seems a bit similar. Yeah. And I just want to know, like, for the Americans, how many of you go? Is it like a, is it only 50%? Is what? it a 90% that try to get in? Like, What's the percentage in Australia? I don't know. Would bro. it be like 20% go to uni? I have no clue. And then I had to look at how they get into uni with the SATs. Mm. And I, I've heard that it's just all multi-choice. So right. I looked at practice SAT tests and the whole fucking thing's multi-choice, bro. Wow. That's it was, it was easy. We it's had like, to do essays you're not, Bro, answers. we had to write like essays in two hours. Yeah. They get an SAT, bro. We would have been in college fucking Einstein. They're, it's like year nine NAPLAN, I swear. Yeah. it's un The practice SAT test was unbelievable, bro. I'm just looking up what percentage of people in Australia go to tend uni. university. The latest data released by the ABS, 32% of Australians held a bachelor's degree in 2022. What? That's a lot. That's a lot. So w w one in three people you can, I guess, Rising say, Rising to 45% among 25 to 34-year-olds. Okay, so it's growing. We've both gone to uni before. Yeah, bro. Not for us, really, but hey. It's an interesting experience. Indeed. But, um, nah, you know, college in America it seems fun. It would be great to have experienced that, I reckon. Definitely. I do also recommend the OC if you guys need yeah, an easy show. TV show to watch. Most it's fun, easy watch, bro. Yeah, it's just one that you can pop on. You can have a little chat about. And season three is good. You guys yeah. are in for a treat. You yeah. know, it's, I, I enjoyed it. I've even so noticed far. the start of it has been good. It won't yeah. give anything away. You know who else is watching it? Mm? Jared Moore nice, and Dylan nice. Buckley. They're yeah, both yeah, loving it. And Jared right. Moore is flying through. Is he? I, I assume you're watching with Carly. Yeah, yeah. We watch it Grace. sort of. We go through periods of like we'll watch four or five eps and yeah. then not watch it for a week or so yeah, maybe. Yeah. So we are going through it slowly because mm -hmm. there's a few others we're watching. But yeah. um, nah, loving it, bro. Yeah. It's just a good show. Just yeah. handy, easy. And I just love... I love Sandy. It's just the vibe, yeah. Sandy's Sandy the Cullen. king, bro. He's just such a good man. Yeah. That's what he is, bro. A good man in his, in his core. Yeah. And that's rare. B-Day deal. I know, 25, bro. B-Day. B-Day tomorrow. I'm going back to Freo with the fam. Yeah. Which will be fun, going to Little Creatures. Um, nice spot. Yeah, you know, I thought, what, because it's finally on a weekend. I was like, well, I can do something in the day at least. Yeah. You know, mum can have a walk around the markets. Mm -hmm. she'll, lo she'll love that. Um, so, yeah, 25. So, who's going? Mum, dad. Mum, dad, brother. brother kids. Um, wife, the kids. That Wade and my nephew are coming first yeah, because the girls have a netball game. Mm -hmm. So they're getting through that. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. going to be fun. 25 quarter of the century, bro. I still feel 18. Yeah, it's weird yeah. like that. I don't feel it? 25 at all. But I, it's it's strange because day-to-day life, I, I feel like you, where you just still feel like you're so young and yeah. you've got all this life. And then when I'm at work, there's a lot of people who are 18 and then I feel old. Yeah. No, when I meet 18, 19 year olds, I feel old. Yeah. I agree with that. But yeah, day to day, I just feel... 2006. I don't feel like a proper adult. Yeah, 2006, 2006 is, 6 18. is 18, which is unbelievable. Yeah. But yeah, because you think, you know, we always say it when you're 19, 20, you look at 25, you think, yeah, sort of. Mm. And I'm just still like... We are going along, plugging bro. away. Yeah. 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 And how long can we plug away for? To be honest, forever. Yeah. Like, we're and plugging I, away and having fun. I'm still really young, but I get... You know, when people who are, you know, 40 and 50, they say, you know, you still feel, you're you're only as old as you feel. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. And I'm still young, I get it, but I still feel 18. But I also, I don't like the pressure from some older people about being this age. I know. Because the world's different. It's a right? different world, bro. These people are getting married at 18, 19, 20, it just 21. doesn't happen anymore. And having kids at 26. Yep. That's not the way the world is now. Nah, bro. Because fingers crossed, touch wood, we'll all get some extra years on our life compared to... Yeah, take me to a 110, bro, a healthy 110. That would be elite. Take me to the year 3000, please. I need to You're see it. You're big on that, aren't I you? I need to see it, bro. 
I need to. I need to. But um, no, nah, we'll, see, we'll see how we go. Looking forward to it. Another year down. We're also in this talks. It's going to be a great year. We're, yeah, it is. We'll go in talks with that guest. Um, That's going to be – we're trying our best to get people on. You know, yeah. you can't help when things get cancelled. Mm-hmm. But we're working. The – um. Just wait till Europe. We're going to have mad content. Definitely. It's going to be crazy. We We're going to go crazy. We're, We're going to go film crazy, everything. Bro. I'll probably film on the way over as well, yeah, like yeah, just before bro. we meet each other. Because, like, we're going to meet each other probably at the Airbnb, rock up, bang. Yeah. The lads are there. We go get a Nando's at Earl's Court. It's going to be exciting, bro. All right. We have this sent in from a listener. Got a discussion topic for you boys. A few boys have said that they use Manscaped for both their face and their pubes and their reason is that they think their pubes are clean, so what's the big deal? But the other lads reckon it's disgusting. What are your thoughts? Wow. So you Okay, doubling down on the Manscaped. I don't really use mine anymore. Yeah? I bought a different one. Cool. What one have you bought? I've got one's like a Philips Mm -hmm. and then I've also got like a Gillette one that helps get a little bit lower, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I actually Gillette electric one and a Phillips electric. I have two. I use the Manscaped nose one though. Yep. Clean up the nose, nose hairs. Trimmer. Yeah, I do. I still use my Manscaped one quite often. Nice, nice. But I have two heads for it. Okay. So I've got one that I'll use for my face. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, I don't use it on my face much. Sometimes yeah. I do it just to help trim moustache. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. But yeah, I'll switch the head over. So I don't really have an issue because I don't use the same yeah, one. exactly. And I... No, sorry, I think pubes are way more disgusting than facial hair. Oh, 100%, bro. Yeah, yeah no. Completely agree. So we think it's a bit young. This is out in the open all day, you know? Yeah, Down yeah. there, bros, getting, you know? At least it's getting a bit cooler, though. Definitely. Beautiful weather at the moment. We're getting the 25s and blue skies. We're lucky here. Just on TV shows, as we were talking about them before, you and I, have you finished it yet or no? I've done four eps, okay. so I've got a fairly good idea. So yeah. Baby Reindeer, show on Netflix. It's kind of taking over. Yeah. It's, you know, pop culture Your at the moment. TikTok will be messed up once you've finished it. Because okay. the, the, your I've phone, already seen a bit of like the real her yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, your phone will know that you've watched it or you're finishing it and it will just dump all the information yeah. on you. We've got the real videos from... Oh, like the comedy show. Yeah, I skipped, yeah. uh, that one of those popped up and I, I skipped over yeah, it because yeah. I want to wait. But no, it's an insane show. It's a it's a crazy, crazy He's an true story. Bloke, bro. Even yeah, the fact that he is the director, he's the writer of the book, he's Very the writer open. of the show, and he is the he's living his own life. Yeah. Acting his own life yeah. is insane. Like I I can't think obviously it would have been done before by many people, but, but I know what you mean. It's the biggest one in recent time. That we know of, yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. And not just acting out his life, acting out his trauma. Yeah. Like, being very open. You know, Next episode, you're in for a... Well, it gets crazy. Yeah, it's hard to watch. Well, they definitely made, from the videos, of, like they've made the actress is definitely a lot bigger than what in real life yeah, from yeah. what I can tell. So, yeah, like it the, is a hard watch. Like the, I hated the, the scene where she's like, he walks along the little river to get yeah, home and she's, she's like chasing, chasing him. him. Yeah. She's like, Haha, bro, I wanted to like, Oh, it was so uncomfortable. Presses him up against the wall. Oh, and he fucking liked it, bro. Little, yeah. yeah, he loved it. He loves that shit, bro. Yeah, that's Little the freak. thing. He loves that shit. I've been lucky to have some conversations at work on Tuesday about the show. And I, like for the people who had watched it, we got to break it down. And it was actually really fun to talk about when everyone's finished it. Yeah. Because there's so much psychological stuff that you just think, okay, I want to punch this guy in the head. He's an idiot. But then you'll find things out and understand it some more. And the last scene of the whole show, pretty good. Okay. Um, leaves your mouth open. You go, wow. What do you give it over the series overall then? Do you have a it's rating? It's an interesting one because I didn't get left with joy. Yep. Um, I think it was... Well filmed, well created. It made you feel the way that 100%. It, they wanted it to make you feel. Um, and it's got me talking about it still. And I finished it a while ago. I'll still go like an eight. Nice. Yeah, I don't think okay. – it's not something that I could watch much more of. But that's okay. Seven episodes yeah. is a good length. And I think it was, yeah, brave of him to tell his story for positive and negative reasons. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but Baby Reindeer, crazy. Um, and the attention to detail on like what – the truth was to the show was pretty incredible yep. too. So I'm sure you'll have a... Yeah, I'm excited to finish it, bro. 
You know what's interesting though? Dill Buckley was watching it the other day and he actually was watching with his dad. Yeah, I know. That's funny, eh? And you were like, good yeah. luck with that, mate. Because he got to episode five and that's where a lot of um, insane stuff happens that you probably wouldn't be comfortable watching with your parents. So has he got? Has he passed that yet? Finished it, yeah. He finished that episode for sure. What did he say about it? Just uncomfortable to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But uh, crazy show. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm excited, bro. And then also this week, I went to the movies with Carly. Mm-hmm. Watched a movie, Late Night with the Devil. It's a horror? Horror movie, yeah. But um, overall, like, I liked the story. And I thought it had it definitely had potential. Okay. The ending got a little bit sort of like fantasy in a way for a little bit. Yep. And I thought it went a, got a bit lost there. Kind of came back. I want to – I've been thinking about this for a while. I think it's around the sort of 7.25 okay. to 7.5 range. That's yeah. what I want to give it. Because I know Jared gave it a strong. 6. I think that's a bit low because there was cert- – I liked where it was going for a decent amount of the movie. I felt like it was a little bit messy at the end. Yeah. So I want to go maybe the 7.25 out yeah. of 10. See, I haven't seen it, so I can't really comment. But when, I get, led, two five. when I get led down the path of a movie that you think is going to be good yeah. and then I get let down, yeah. I feel emotionally angry I know. About that's it. what it took me. I had to try and even though I, I wanted to judge it as a whole. Yeah. But then I had to try and separate. See, I would go down a Jared route. I feel like if I did watch yeah. it, I'd be similar. No, I'd, I think a six, because uh, I I think it still is a good movie. I just, the potential was there, which disappointed me. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's a bit like IMDb gives it like a seven, five. Okay. But not, um, Rotten Tomatoes, it's like a 97. Yeah. Rotten Tomatoes sometimes gives some interesting ratings though. Yeah, I don't trust it just because I, like... For example, there's some movies that I love. It might have a 12% rating. Yeah. Or there's movies that I absolutely yep. despise and it's got like a 90. Yeah, they do. You know, Rotten Tomatoes is, I don't know. Different I don't breed think it's of people. The, yes, I don't think it's the most accurate. Plus, the reason I like IMDb is you get a range of people who are our age yeah. to like 70-year-olds. So you've exactly. got a wide scope of people and, and opinions. And well, yeah, thoughts. Rotten Tomatoes, they give it a 97% for the – Critics and then the audience scores eighty one percent, so an okay, eight. Right. So that I do think it sits in that seven to eight range, depending on how you yeah. view it. So you've gone a light seven, yeah, a light seven, like yeah. a three and a half. Because originally I thought about it in a five. What did Carly think? She liked it more than me, so she gave it like a four out of five. Yeah. So I guess an eight out of ten. But I, sometimes I don't really like. I feel like a four out of five sounds better than an eight out of ten. In oh, a I way. like. Just doing tens. Yeah. For, that's why when we did the food critic stuff for the Geelong place. Yeah. I said, all right, ask me out of 10 and yeah. then I can Because sometimes it's, it. but yeah, I do think 10's a little bit more, because you know, accurate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Out of 10. But yeah, um, yeah it's, it's decent, I guess. Not See how bad. you go. Cheeky little horror movie. And oh, I just saw some stuff. This is crazy, TikTok. bro. This, this lawyer, he's letting out the devil, bro. Yeah. And I've seen his videos for some time, but- I just can't believe he keeps going. And J.O. my law firm, that's the TikTok handle. Yep, so you can check that out. Um, it's, bro. Some they're, of enter- the, they're entertaining videos, to be fair. Some of the smiles of these criminals getting, they're laughing, giggling, reminiscing. He's, he's like, oh, so what did you get charged for? Or what did you allegedly get um, yep. charged for? And it's like, oh, attempted murder on a family member. Yep. And then he would basically just be like, yeah. Call up G Elmo, give you money here. Yeah, and he's and like, I love it, bro. He got a year instead of five or whatever. Yep. It's crazy. And yep. they'll always look so guilty and they're they laughing. They look like the most guilty people I've ever seen, ever. I don't know if he asked them to put it on. Like, yeah. is it a marketing ploy or is it's it genius. genuinely them? It's genius. Just J Elmo. Because they're always in shock that they got off or they got like a. Some of them are time. like, they literally go, I don't even know how he got me off. That's as guilty as it gets, yeah, bro. Definitely. I also started watching The Wire because that's always on lists of like best TV shows ever. Yeah, is that US um, criminal show? US criminal. Yeah. So I've only watched two eps. It's decent so far. Young Michael B. Jordan is in it. Yeah, He's about okay. 13. So is um, um Id- Idris Elba. Yep. So um, we'll see how I go with it. That's I'm, one that I'm expecting a lot because it's always yeah. in the top five. So it's going to have to be really good to live up to expectation. That one's been on my list for some time. I just kind of, I was like, I need something to watch sort of. It What's started it off as what a background. Platform? It's on binge. Yeah, okay. I was nearly going to get rid of it too. Yeah. I probably will get dust binge off after this. So try and fly through it. Trying to get um, 
Rambo and some of the others onto Snowfall. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. I, I have been thinking about that yeah. too. I might go that one after. Um, Love that show. I might go Snowfall after The Wire. Proper good drug show. Because I've seen a few, like Frank likes it too, right? And I've yeah, seen it d- talked about That's the, the problem. Chat. Because... Um, you've taken your time. Frank started watching it. Yeah, so I do skip everything he says, yeah, though. Yeah. He's, he I will ruin it for it, you. He will. I, was, I had to stop watching Power because of Frank. Oh, yeah. I, I found out that happened. three key moments. You just like stuff well, What's this? the point yeah. anymore? He's like, oh, I still watch it. It's still good. No, fuck you. Yeah, Frank. Always doing that shit. Do you have friends that spoil your shows, guys? Because... I don't know if they're real friends if they're doing that. I agree. I agree, bro. I get excited when a friend's watching a show that I love. Yeah. I think, fuck yeah, you're in for it, bro. Like, even um, trying to get some of the boys onto Entourage. Like, uh, if they're watching the first season, I feel so jealous. I'm jealous. I, I'm I might go well. through it again, bro. Yeah. That's how much I love that so show. It's like time three or four for me. Yeah, I think, I can't remember how many. I'm at, at least four, bro. Yeah. Must be. So, yeah. Because it oh, reignites the flame within us to do what a we want to do percent, as well. A million percent, bro. It's oh, such an amazing show. And just back to Rognetta, he could be a part of our entourage, but yeah. he chooses not to. Choose, he could be little E, little Eric. Yeah. But um, I imagine if he pulled a Sloan. Oh, I would be, if, bro, I wouldn't fucking believe it. I wouldn't like it. Imagine I'd, Rog pulling a Sloan. I'd be pissed off. Because of all of the stuff he'd not done w- for us and with us in the then past. Then we get him a Sloan, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can, you're getting angry talking about it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's move the way. Move on, we'll move on. Voice messages. We have four from four you guys Four this today. week and then we'll head off. We hope you're enjoying the Jammo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jammo and Dylan on Instagram. I just, I need some help and some clarification on how the male brain works. So I've been speaking to this guy for three months and um, he's told me he likes me, he wants to see me, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And he sent me a message today saying, what are you doing on the weekend? And I was like, oh, I sent him a voice message back saying these are my plans, like, what are you doing? I'd be keen to see you, blah, blah, blah. I've been left on scene for nine hours now. So love that for me. Um, what, first of all, why? Second of all, what does this mean? Third of all, what do I do about it? Because I'm confuffled. I, I just need some clarification. I need some help understanding. Because if I like someone, I'm going to respond straight away. So, please send help. Firstly, don't use confuffled. Don't use confuffled. Uh, That really, I was on team her until she said that. Bro, left on scene on a voice message, ouch. Yeah. Now, I say, okay, it's been three months. Nothing has transpired relationship-wise. I also get led down the path of, well... I don't know if he likes you that much, to be honest. And then you can also go down the route of benefit of the doubt if this is the first time he's left you on scene like that, like that aggressively, because... He might have just had to go into a surgery. He might have just had to... He's maybe knocked out. Someone's punched him in the street. You never know anymore, bro. It's a dangerous know. world. So I'd give him benefit of the doubt one time. But if that happens again, Should he doesn't Should she message like again? You. No, wait. You've been left on scene with a voice message. Yeah. And... I think that hurts more than a normal one, Do you reckon there's a bit of desperation from her as well? Yeah, she's thinking, please reply. But when she also said, oh, like, I really am looking forward to seeing you or whatever, whatever... He's gone. Ugh, nah. bro. Ugh, Maybe, bro. I don't want that. Because as she said, if she's liking someone, she's replying. I think you've answered it. I don't know if he likes you that much, unfortunately. And that's yeah. the harsh reality. But, you know, we're sparing you pain. Yeah. In the Short future. term pain, long term fame, maybe. Maybe. Probably not after the confuffle thing. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to you. Thank you for always listening. We yes, appreciate yes, your love. love. Hey guys, love from Canada. Just listen to the podcast where you were talking about um, V's, like the energy drinks and how that's kind of like a bad aesthetic. And I just found that interesting because here in Canada, that's like not the case at all. It's like so normalized. Everybody's carrying around a monster or a Red Bull. Like not everybody, but you know, on, on universities, when you go to the campus, you'll see people in the library and like, I want to say probably 30% of them have either a monster or a Red Bull or something. 
At least here where I'm from, we're all just locked in on school with raging caffeine addictions, it seems like. Yeah, we both... These Canadians and Americans, and I know they probably don't like being compared, but they're just what you think. Yeah. And as we said, we were watching the draft earlier today, NFL draft, and they just seem... It seems like a video game. Yeah, these people are just... Imagine just you're in Canada, bro. They're all, you know... Oh, they sound American, out. but they're not. I want to hang out with Ty Hampel. I want to hang out with Ty, bro. Take me through the campus. I want to see these people smashing back monster energies, bro. The way I see this cultural difference is Australia is very much addicted to coffee. Yes. Yeah, we have coffees. Iced coffee. Which I mocha. view as legitimate caffeine. Yeah. Like, it, it's something that has been done for a very long time. Yeah, this Monster Energy drink stuff, bro. It's, it's just so foreign and, to me. Yeah. And and I've tried them all. They're just not for me. Dad That's listened the to last week's episode and he said, oh, I don't see the problem with a girl. Like, he wouldn't see it as an ick if they had a Monster yeah. Energy drink. Yeah. And I said to him, it's just a completely different time where... Hey, is she... Starting on her own, bro. Who do you think you are? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he was saying like, oh, he doesn't see a problem with it. And then I was saying, we've grown up in different times where the stigma around Monster Energy yes. and all of that was like X Games, Monster Trucks, yeah. like emo, them long shorts, like a bl- a black snap back with a with um, a green. skaters and stuff. Whereas, yeah, like I don't know, coffee. Is Australian uni culture. Yes. But college culture in America, he said it's 30% energy drinks. You just got to be on the ball. In the, like, you know, these days, bro, things change quickly. Yeah, you got to be bro. on the ball. When things are out, bro. You get lo- locked behind with a trend yeah, or whatever, you're bro. stuck. I don't know, man. But, um, yeah, the monster energy, that would be, like, shocking to me walking around and just seeing, boom, monster, monster, mm-hmm. V, bro, Red Bull. You know what would be shocking to me? mm if, as we're talking about trends, like skinny jeans just came back. They're, and then, bro, they're going to come back. That's then the we problem. All, like, you have to grit your teeth and go, oh, do I want to be different? Or do I just want to be a sheep and just mix in with the crowd? I don't think I could ever go proper skinny. Yeah, well, we've been there because I look back at... Yeah, you used to, bro. In, you, there's a photo of you and I in someone's, like, garage and you've got double black in your hand yep. and you've got black skinny jeans. Yeah, bro. I had like ripped fucking yeah. jeans. And back then, believe it or There's not. There's nothing wrong with it. No. No? If if mum said, all right, well, like, you need new clothes. It looks rubbish. You'd go to the shops and go, okay, I'll get those because that's what everyone else has. Yeah, bro. Because you don't want to be bullied. Mediums. Now if you Mediums, that, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get. It's crazy, eh? Crazy times, bro. But they, that's the thing. Fashion, you know, everything comes back in. It's so cool. Yeah. And it seems to be happening quicker now too. I feel like TikTok makes everything trendy for like three months, six mm. months at a time, bro. But um, no, we'll see how we go. I wonder I wonder what the fashion trends are over there. It's interesting though because you and I love our baggy shirts. Like yeah. A bit oversized. See you're wearing Mertra shirt. Yeah, Is yeah, it Mertra, yeah. Mertra, Mertra? Mertra, Mertra. Melbourne brand. Yeah, I'm wearing this shirt from Melbourne as well, from Keep Clo. Yep, lovely. Yeah, I just nice love the bloke. fit of these type of, yeah. of these clothes, bro. Not too long. No, exactly. I hate the long shirts. Exactly. And it's hard, like... Is the that long an, shirts is that I hate. L, XL? I think this is an L, yeah. I want to say. See, like... Might be an XL. With my body type, I like wearing an XL to fit around me, mm. but the length is always an issue. Yes, yeah. yeah. Length, I agree, bro. I think... When a shirt goes to a certain length, it just looks daggy. Yeah, it does. Let, you know, as we were talking about earlier, drop tees. Yeah. I don't like the skinny fit long tees. No. Nah. nah. So, shout out to Mercha Mercha. Shout out to Keep yeah, Shout Clo. out to the lads, bro. Much love. All right, we've got two left. Let's go. Let's get through them. Hey, boys. Hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to share this extremely outrageous claim that my friend made. It's going to knock your freaking socks off. She says the other day... That a Porto's is better than Nando's. I'm sorry? In what fucking world? So we go there yesterday. I thought, well, I'll give you a chance to prove this extremely outrageous claim. I was never going to get on board, but, you know, whatever. I hardly have had a Porto, so I was like, oh, well, you know, I'll give it a shot. Haven't had it in a few years. Are you kidding? It's like a rip-off mixture of Nando's and Red Rooster, like wannabes. Like, it's not even in the same fucking ballpark. It was, the chicken was, like, weird and sweet and 
no, no, not even, no, just no. I'm baffled by that. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a good I wonder if we did a poll. Maybe it would be a bit biased because we've brainwashed our yes, people. Yes, what the, what the mix would be. Yeah, like Nando's v. a Porto. Like, I've had a Porto a few times. I don't mind it, but it's not Nando's. Yeah. It's not even close, I'm bro. the same. I it think really I've had isn't. it two times. So when I had it, it was decent. I didn't hate it. Yeah. But Nando's, Nando's I love. Bro. It's not Nandino's. It's no. not even close, man. Oh, I can't wait to try some butterfly chicken. Damn, it's going to be crazy. That first Nando's is going to be oh, unbelievable. Be what if it doesn't hit? The disappointment I'll be, I'll be factor. Fucking, I'll be like shattered, bro. Off we go to five guys. Yeah, I'll be shattered. Yeah. Hey boys, hope you're well. Would you rather sneeze at the beginning of every sentence? So every time you speak, the first thing you do is sneeze. Or would you rather cough every five words? Oh, it is hard. Probably sneeze. I'm in the at sneeze At least to start the well. big... Because... The cough interrupting every five words would be ridiculous. No one would want to listen to you. But wait, he actually did say to start every sentence, your, the sneeze. I'm just not doing with any full stops, bro. Yeah, just commas. Commas. So you just got to rattle off something and for a minute. And then you become, you'd, you'd actually get better at being more succinct in what you say. Mm. You know, you become more direct. It'd be good yeah, for you. Definitely. You get more truth out. Um, but yeah, the cough would be disgusting. Nah, that's silly. So Rog, after a bit of abuse, and he always does this, whenever we... He comes crawling back. Yeah, whenever we give him a bit of negative energy and say, look, we're not really friends with you right now, he keeps messaging yep. and begs. And there's a part of me that loves it, to be honest, him crawling back and just thinking, you know what, let's be friends. Um, But if he was a friend, he would He's not answer our phone calls. He's not a friend. He's not, is he? He's a foe right now. Say, if you are our friend, um, call us right now. When was the last time he called us? Never. He never asks. He would have a bit of PTSD considering we did put we his call him. on there. Yeah, we did trick him. Yeah, but we made it nice. We cut a lot out. We did. I'm looking forward to our Frio Dogs halftime collaboration. But yeah, just back on topic, the coughing would be disgusting. It, it's a dirtier sneezing... I don't happen. see sneezing is that bad at all, to be honest. I sneeze at the sun. Yeah. Like this, if I come out of the shopping centre and it's really bright, sun gets sneezing. in my eyes, I sneeze. Yeah, fair, bro. Um, so I can handle that. Although my sneezes are quite violent. Coughing's a bit more like when it starts packing on, I'm thinking, okay, yeah. get away from yeah, me. Like, it's annoying. You got, got some phlegm involved? Or? Yeah, some contagion coming on, bro. Damn. But yeah, no, nah, get that. I reckon the sneezing is a lot easier to deal with and all better right. for all those around you too. I've been recording via phone call for the pod once before. I'm not that it happened again. We are friends. I'll say, how about we ring you and show us turning off our devices and then we can talk. We also just got an update from um, Shani about okay. she sent the voice message, got left unseen. I said, has he replied? She said, this is what he said. Hey, darling, sorry, been super busy. Do you believe him? I think that's rough. I think he's trying to. Yeah. Rog, I said, how about we ring you and show us turning off our devices? He said, I can't trust it because I know this is around your recording time. You'll do something cheeky and I'll find myself on the pod. Well, chokes on you because you are right now. You don't have to be on camera and you don't have to speak <laughs> until we turn off devices. He's typing, but Jamo's calling. I will not pick up. Hello, mate. The, re the things are on. We told you they would be on. All right. Can you watch show, this? Show what, the no, devices. Literally watch. We're, we're literally about to die. As you can see, we're at 52 minutes. Okay. Done. Well, this is how you defeat trauma, Rog. Now, over here, recording. Oh, we also need to say bye. Yeah, Wait, so do we say bye. Uh, we're done. Bye, guys. Thank you for this week. We're on video call with Rog, but he's not speaking. We're turning everything off. We'll Look see at this, you next Josh. week. Thank you for listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.